What's up? Raw and Real Day 8. Kind of day 9 because I actually didn't get a video out before midnight today. But it's um, probably, I don't know, what time is it, Rana? 12.43. 12.43. So I'm going to just blend day 8 and day 9 together. <laughs> <laughs> and if I'm inspired tomorrow, which is actually later today, later today, after I sleep and wake up today, um, I will... Uh, do day nine. So, okay, so raw and real, here it is. Um, spent today uh, getting, moving out of the place we've been staying because we're gonna be hitting the road. We got a whole bunch of different things that we're gonna be doing over the next 10 days. Three events in three days, essentially. Um, two, one we're attending, one we're supporting, and one we're facilitating, co-facilitating. So it's gonna be pretty pretty wild and wacky couple of days and they're all over. One is in San Francisco, one is in LA, and one is back in um, uh, upstate, upstate New York. Ah, on top of this, we are launching, finally, we're uh, launching the pre-sale tickets, opening up the doors to buy pre-sale tickets for the fun, fabulous, and feminine live experience happening in March, 13th, 14th, 15th. And we're on deadline for that because we committed to that and it needs to happen. We need to get this ball rolling. We just signed the contract for the hotel. If you saw my video yesterday, you know that that was a little like eek eek. It's real. It's happening and we're, a lot of money's on the line for that. So ticket sales got to start coming in and uh, I, uh, so it took us a little bit longer to get out of the house and get up to San Francisco. And in that process, we didn't necessarily pick a hotel or plan a hotel. We're usually fairly good at that, but with all this modern technology and the whole road trip across country, we never had to do that. We just dro popped open hotelstonight.com or Expedia or Orbitz and bada boom, bada bing, we found a hotel. Well, we didn't count on the fact that San Francisco was completely sold out of hotels. And when that happens, it spills into Oakland, which is where we were headed for tomorrow. We're doing a VIP intensive with one of our fabulous VIP clients. And we didn't count on that, so we didn't. We got a late start. We didn't. Get, we drove through thick, 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 thick fog. I was literally working on my laptop in the car, you know, cranking things out. Our designer's <laughs> laptop melted down, and she wasn't able to get the design. So Ronald's behind me, actually, working on the design that needs to go into the header to launch the thing tomorrow. Yeah, a little bit stressful. So where's my call and ease? <laughs> I'm speaking call and ease. So here's what happened. We um. We pulled into a gas station, we got a uh, recommendation for a hotel, we found that hotel and I was not even willing to get out of the car. It was like, I looked up Yelp reviews when we got there, it was just like, you know, talking about people doing meth and I did not even feel safe to get out of the car and I was like, this is not happening. So at that point we're pretty stressed out, we're pretty tired and we know that Rano has at least a couple more hours of work ahead of him because on the East Coast where our marketing manager is, he needs to get her um, in the, the final pieces stat so that we can launch this uh, pre-sale ticket as promised tomorrow. <sighs> so how did I call an ease? Well, eventually I just sucked it up and I said, you know what, we're not going to find a, a motel hotel for the price we want. And, have it be a decent hotel and I am absolutely not sacrificing my well-being uh, for the sake of a hundred or hundred fifty dollars so I, I pulled up my app hotel tonight um, the cheapest hotel I could find was two hundred and fifty dollars plus fifty dollars to park the car plus tax um, no I think it's two fifty plus yeah plus tax so that's three hundred dollars now um, we were hoping to spend 80 <laughs> We're on a little bit of a tight budget because we got this big event coming up and we're shelling out a lot of money. And then I thought to myself, you know what, it doesn't matter because why would I sacrifice my joy and my happiness over a couple hundred dollars? So this kind of goes back to the hairdresser conversation a couple of videos ago. And really, of course, I'm always working on my wealth consciousness. And I'm realizing that sometimes you just got to take the path that seems a little bit like, eh, and that's been the process. And it doesn't always smooth sail right into that. There's a little bit of fear and a little bit of stress and, of course, exhaustion from kind of being on the go. We haven't really caught up from our trip and everything else, and we're probably not really going to catch up until February. <laughs> um, but that's why pleasure and play are so important because the more you can infuse those into your daily activities, have fun, the less you get focused on your tiredness. Okay, so I'm rambling, but I told you these are raw and real. So if you're still with me by now in this video, the moral of the story for me was um, 
take the easy path, even if it seems sometimes to be the most expensive path, and even when it seems like that resource isn't necessarily available to spend at that moment, um, just do it because if I don't, I'm kind of saying to the universe that I really don't believe that I'm being provided for, and I'm kind of saying that there's a cap on my ability to manifest, and that's not what I believe, or that's not what I'm really working on, breaking through old beliefs so that I can actually have that experience more in my life. So here I am, $300 later, a hotel that looks lovely and um, is a little bit, you know, it's a boutique hotel that isn't really, prime. it's better than the Roach Motel, but much better than the Roach Motel. Um, in the financial district, no, no less, of San Francisco, so that, that feels like a sign. So I thought, okay, how can I reframe this? What's the spin? And it's like, well, I'm choosing to live more abundantly and I'm choosing to make decisions based on my joy and my happiness and ease versus penny pinching and dollars because I think I need to save it to put it over here and that goes against everything I believe so no more I'm done with that so we opened up the mini bar we're having a cocktail because it's late and we've driven a long time and I'm gonna go to bed soon so I'll probably have one cocktail but we're like heck why stop now why penny pinch now it's 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 a silly so I would love to hear your thoughts. Like, have you ever had this situation? What do you think about what I just did? And uh, maybe you have a story about where you sacrificed your well-being, and I was absolutely not going to stay in that motel. I was like, get me the hell out of here. In fact, we got in a little bit of a fight because I couldn't even sit long enough in the parking lot to actually find the next uh, hotel. I was just like, please, just get me out of here. I just had a bad feeling all around. And... Uh, right or wrong it was my truth and that's what we needed to get out of there so I was not about to stay in that no matter what even if it was for just seven hours before we have to get up and go somewhere tomorrow my happiness and my joy and my well-being and my flow is, is up, up most important to me so I'm calling an ease by that I'm calling an ease that tomorrow everything's gonna be done and ready to rock and roll and that the message that we worked really hard to get out to um, the people that are gonna receive it tomorrow really speak to them and they say yes and they start you know they start saying yes to come to fun fab fam because I, I know that events is I already see it filled so it's already done so why would I even worry okay I know this was a long one but that's my story. And anyways, this counts as two videos potentially. So, all right. Love to hear your thoughts. Take care. Thanks for sticking with me. See you tomorrow.